Okay, I think this is recording. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> hi everybody. I know it's been a long time since I, well not a long time, but I haven't been really consistent on um, updating my status about being vegan. Because, uh, I don't know why. I can make up a million excuses, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so, um, here's the update. So, um, I say so um a lot, don't I? Whatever. I have noticed a lot of things about um, about life in general through this whole process. My family, uh, number one, you really find out the people who support you um, when you do something like this. Like, for instance, my... Um, Mom and my dad came to visit me at work, and we were going to go to lunch. And um, you know, I'm doing I'm I'm doing this, and so my uh, dad doesn't really like the whole vegan thing. But because he loves me, he went to um, he went out and had vegan food with me and my mom. And he sat there and he at least pretended like he liked it. Uh, so I appreciated that. Um, and then. Something else, I'm just going to put it out there. I got no shame. I'm a human. Um, I've been doing like online dating. And so I have, um, and not any of that scandalous online dating either. I'm just being defensive, okay? So anyway, um, legitimate online dating. And it's been a really great experience this time. I mean, I've done it before, but um, so the incident that I want to talk about is I was talking to this one guy on the phone, you know, before you meet up or whatever, and uh, I it came out that I've been, you know, having this vegan challenge, and um, we started talking about it, and he was just like, "Sorry, I can't date you," and I was like, "What? Are you serious?" And he was like, "Yeah, I mean, where would we even go out to eat? Like, I'll I'll wait to take you out until it's over." And I'm thinking to myself, like, well, "What if I don't want it to be over?" You know, it was a really interesting um, reaction from somebody. But I think a lot of people would probably be like that. And I think it's also, it's hard. People eat meat. People eat dairy. That's normal in, at least in this society and a lot of other societies as well. Um, but I recently... Um, went on a few dates with a person and with this guy and he even showed me some new vegan restaurants and um, was totally open to it and was excited about it and I mean it was really cool and if I hadn't done this challenge I don't think that I would have that same connection with this person and I probably wouldn't have weeded out that other one so that's really cool you know um, and my yoga practices have been so much more uh, fluid. I feel light in my body. I feel clear in my mind most of the time. Uh, when I've had my coffee, I always have to have my coffee. That's one thing, that's a vice that I will not give up. <laughs> no, uh, maybe I'll try it someday, who knows. Um, and, oh, okay, this is the other thing. So I went to this restaurant um, after I got out of work today because I was too tired to cook. So it's called The Loving Hut, and it's in um, Orange, California, on Tustin Boulevard. And um, I it just well opened up, and I'm sitting outside, and I'm waiting for my food. And there's a kid. He's not really a kid. He's like 22 years old, or like 20-something, 20 22, like to be exact. Uh, and I'm not much older than him. But uh, we got to talking, and he said that he became vegan because he watched a documentary, too. Uh, that one, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, that's on you, uh, on Netflix that I'm sure a lot of people have watched. It's uh, about this, I think it's about this guy who does juicing. And so this kid decided, it, and his name is Garrett, um, I came to find out, decided to incorporate juicing and um, then started to uh, kind of put, give in to a vegan diet and, um, he said that he had been doing it for about a year. He's lost like 30 pounds. He feels great. 
He's extremely, uh, from what I gathered um, during our hour conversation, um, he is a pretty spiritual person too. And I, from what I realized about myself is that even I consider myself to be an extremely spiritual person, not religious, but um, through incorporating this diet into my lifestyle, I feel like I'm more aware consciously, um, and like attracts like, you know, so to sit with this person who um, is just like a skater kid, you know, from like Anaheim, and have this like connection, like an instant connection, and not not in like a not in like a, a romantic way, but just like in a soul connection, you know. Um, I wouldn't have had that experience had I not gone this route and challenged myself in this way. And I mean, I, I'm sure I don't know if you can tell. I mean, look at my collarbones, dude. Like, even people at work are like, Amanda. You look great. Actually, this one girl told me I look stunk in. I was like, what? I don't think so. Maybe she's jealous or something, but whatever. I work with all women mostly, so that's the way it normally goes. Um, but yeah, I feel great. Uh, and I, after this 30 days is over, I don't know if I want to stop because I feel so good. So this is not my last recording. Uh, it's my probably my second to the last, but I really got inspired from talking with that kid. Um, yeah, I've just had so many great experiences since I started this. So, to anybody who wants to go vegan or who has ever thought of it and thinks, oh, I could never do that, you know, I freaking love cheese, okay? I love quesadillas. I love enchiladas. You know, like, that's me all the way, dude. Um, and I thought, I never thought I could go a month without eating a quesadilla or a freaking enchilada. But I did. And, um, I mean, you could even have a vegan one if you wanted to. Um, but even having one meal, even just trying one vegan meal, like, even that, if one person... Think about if every person just tried to have one vegan meal a week, or even one vegan meal a year. Who all of, you know, all those carnivores. If ev every one of them just tried it once, think about how many lives would be spared. Think about, uh, you know, the impact it would have on our Earth. It goes so far, you know, and um, it's just really awesome. And I probably sound like a free-loving hippie, and you know what? Maybe I am. So, with that being said, peace and love. See you soon.